Okay, so here's my um, my pinion shaft. Wow, there goes a loose bolt. I didn't do that. Look how loose it is now. Look how it pulls in and out. Well, it's trying to move it. It's like moving back and forth in and out a little bit. That is pretty bad. Next thing you gotta take off is a brake drum, and you can do that by taking these four bolts off. Mine are 19 millimeter. And I might as well spray down everything I'm gonna take off. Never had these apart before. And wow, look at all of this crusty mud stuff in there. Awesome. You might as well drain the oil out of it. Mine happens to be a a 19 millimeter. I don't know if they all are, but that's what this one is. Just crack this. Screw loose and let the fluid out. The fluid looks really thick. Probably has sand in it or something. Not the traditional way to mark it, but I don't have anything else, and that's I'll, I'll match up later. Well, these bolts are loose. It just shows that sometimes you should probably check over stuff whenever you buy it because I haven't messed with this and I noticed all of these bolts are loose. Even the bolts that hold the backing plate on are loose. Look at that. I find it easier just to go ahead and take the bleeder valve out because it's kind of in the way. I would show it, but sorry.
So these are 12 millimeter, at least on mine. See, I take these four bolts out. I want to see what, what bolts I'm talking about from the back side, which. It's those bolts like that are right there on the housing. I can't really film without getting my finger in the way, but right there in the middle of the camera, back of the housing, there goes the one I took off. I got four of them. Oops, the camera wasn't rolling when I pulled that. Which I don't know how I managed that one, but I'm just going to rush through the other one up to the point where I take the um, backing plate off and pull it. We're finally almost there, just the final part of the video. Take this loose, take all these bolts off, 12 millimeter, then pull this out and inspect it. See why that's going on. Here we go. The moment of truth. Oh, it's so heavy. Oh, it's actually heavy. I was twisting my fingers. Oh, okay. Well, would you look at that? The pinion has actually carved this 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 groove all the way around. It actually seems to bind a little bit. But look at that. Wow, look at that. Tell me that's not... Tell me that was not about to destroy this thing completely if it's not already destroyed. Okay, to disassemble this bad boy, first you take off the pinion nut. Well, I guess you don't have to do that first. I guess I'm doing it out of order. But mine wasn't even crimp or dented or whatever you call it. I don't know if it backed off and that's what caused it to, to get so loose, but yeah, this this differential is kind of kind of trashed in a way. And I, I just want to see if the housing is at least good. But this is how you disassemble it. Some people that want to put them back together can mark them or whatever. I'm not, I'm not even the least bit concerned about that. I'll take these four bolts loose. Like I said, if you want to try to maintain that setting or something, you could mark them. I'm not really concerned with it setting because I'm most likely going to get a new set of gears or something. And the setting's not going to be correct for the new gears anyway. On side to side, keep this, make sure the caps stay on the same side. I don't know if they're marked or not. Because if somebody would have seen that that uh, pinion so loose and repaired it immediately, it wouldn't have got so bad. You know, it wouldn't have chewed up. You see, it even smashed. It even made a. Uh, hold up, okay. This side, that side, that side, this side, this side. And that's not good. The ring gear don't really look that bad. It really doesn't. The pinion, on the other hand, 
has some chips on the back of it. That's why I'm not. That's why I'm not using it because the pinion just looks too. It doesn't look good enough for me to to, to run. I want to see the back bearing, so <laughs> people have all their fancy pullers, but be careful with this stuff, it's like knife edged. That's how I pull seals. Always with a hammer handle. I do that to hubs too. thing has a locked rear end, so I mean like it has a lock, some, I don't know if it's welded or if it's, or if it has like a, a little mini spool in it or something, but I want to see what's inside of it. Sorry about that, my video actually got cut off because the battery was was dead. I don't know where it stopped, but what I was saying is I'm going to take this off. This lid has a lid right here. I'm going to take it off to see what kind of locker is inside of it. And it has a mini spool. is it ever easy so 
Here goes your mini spool. Nice.